Yo, what is up, Trailblazers? Welcome back to The Memory of Chaos, the very first one of patch 2.2. Uh, it is called Dream Within a Dream. Very fitting name. Of course, we are going to clear the final stage together. So yeah, we have a memory turbulence that... Whenever we attack, we apply one stack of memory imprint to all of our allies. Basically, all of these stacks, they make us deal 5% more damage. This can stack up to six times. When you manage to stack it up six times, there's a secondary effect which regenerates a 25% energy for all of your allies. And uh, this energy can even exceed the target's max energy. So, hello there, Argenti. You are going to love this. <laughs> so, um, first battle, we're going to face Chapar, and there's a lightning weakness for all of the enemies. Initially, I thought, and maybe some of you did as well, that when it says, oh yeah, we are getting free energy, Acheron is probably a bad pick for this, which is why I tried to do this with Jingyuan, but... I hate to say it, he just didn't put out enough uh, single target damage to clear this in a fast manner. So I tried out Acheron and she did way better. We are using an Acheron team for the first battle here. Uh, she's E0, so I need to use two Nihility units to uh, get out her full potential. We are using Silver Wolf and Pella for this. And then we have Fujuan SD Sustain. She's also using a Light Cone that allows her to stack up those ultimate stacks whenever she gets attacked. Okay, second battle. Uh, we have an imaginary and a physical weakness. So if you guys own Argenti, this is definitely the battle to pick him. He's going to do great, especially with this uh, energy buff he gets from the memory uh, turbulence. I do not own him. So what I did is I put up a hyper carry team with Denhang and Bibita Lune here as the hyper carry. Uh, and then he's supported by two harmony units. Uh, best waifu in the game. I need to say that every single video, I know. I know you guys are sick of it, but it's true. <laughs> Ting Yuen is in there, and we have a Sparkle as the secondary support. She's going to uh, give us all of the skill points that we need. And then we have uh, Luacha in there as the sustain unit, since he's very skill point positive. Den Hang likes that, and of course, he also has the fitting elementary type. So, let's get into the battle. So, first fight, not much to do here. We are going to put up Fujuan's techniques, or technique, and then we engage with uh, Ateron. And yeah, as you probably all know by now, uh, the whole idea behind an Ateron setup is that you stack uh, debuffs as quickly as you can to get those ultimate stacks of Ateron up. And we have some great characters for that, because both Pella and <coughs> Silver Wolf, with the light cones they have, and, you know, with the natural kit, they stack debuffs whenever they basic attack, whenever they use their ultimates, so that's a lot of debuffs, and Adron loves that. Also, if you're wondering why I'm using auto battles sometimes, <laughs> I, I do that when Acheron is doing her ultimate because I feel like it executes much faster if I put auto battle on. <laughs> Not. 
So, second wave? We are going to completely focus on Chapa for this one. So I'm pretty sure he has more HP than the other boss. So he's going to be our main focus. Let's also put a weakness on you. Nice, okay. Yeah, so there's, there's two ways that Fujuan can actually apply debuff as well. Uh, one is, if she gets hit with the light cone she's using, uh, she's going to apply a burn debuff. You can see it right here on the enemy. That counts towards uh, Atron's ultimate stacks as well. And uh, of course, the thing that she can do whenever she wants <laughs> is uh, when she actually breaks a toughness gauge, that also counts as a debuff. Okay, so hopefully I can clear within this cycle here. That seems about right. Put the debuff on this one here. I I'm just, yeah, okay. Just thinking which order I should use my stuff. Okay, that should hopefully finish it. Boom! Nice, okay. Very nice. So, 26 cycles left. Second battle. We are using all of our skills, of course, all of our techniques. Engage with this guy. And yeah, before anything else happens, we're going to immediately use uh, Tingyun's ultimate that's going to speed up our entire party because of her relic set and um, also because of the light cone. Dance, dance, dance. Then we are buffing this guy, of course. Buff him even more. <laughs> and then we want to focus on this guy here in the, in the center or this lady or whatever you are. Because this one can apply a very annoying stun debuff. And stuns suck.
Should I use... Nah, it's gonna be fine. We're going to buff afterwards. So there, there she actually managed to apply a debuff on uh, Denhang, but that's also why Luotra is really good for this fight. Um, you know, he auto-healed him because he dropped below 50% HP, and whenever Luotra heals, that also dispels a debuff, so it's kind of nice. It's actually perfect. Now I can kill you with the ultimate. Okay, second phase. Now this is going to get super annoying. And we have to get a bit lucky here. Because with Kafka and this person here, uh, we are facing two bosses that have both very annoying debuffs. Uh, Kafka with her domination and, you know, this person. We've already seen it right now. Um, yeah, with the, with the stun. Uh, so I have seven skill points, which means I'm going to overcap, so I'm just going to use the skill right here. That gives me at least uh, the energy for an ultimate here. So yeah, I think I want to focus on Kafka. I would say she's probably still a bit more dangerous than the other person. You okay. Dominated the waifu. Unforgivable. Oh yeah, with Dan Hung, um, neat thing to know is whenever you see that your blast is going to stack up your energy fully, just spam that ultimate button immediately. Because of the following reason. Uh, when you do it like that, He's going to keep his Righteous Heart stacks for the ultimate as well. This thing stacks up when you're using your basic attack, your blast. And as you can see, we're using the ultimate now and it's still on. It's still on. If you wait a little longer, it's going to drop and you're not going to have these 60% uh, more damage. So, a neat little thing to know about this guy. So, kind of low on skill points, actually. I would love to dispel that domination on Ting Yuan, but... She, she's got to pull through. She's got to pull through for now. That's why she's the best waifu. To be completely honest with you, it doesn't really matter too much <laughs> uh, until the, the buff runs out. And it didn't, so... <laughs> okay, um... Nice, okay. She resisted.
Ooh, nice damage. Very nice damage. Let's see. Okay, so if I... If I use it on him... Or her... Excuse me. <laughs> it's going to break the toughness, but I think there's also a chance to break it with the... Yeah, I think I think Luochar can break... Oh no, they're going to have a turn. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I guess I'm going to break the toughness right now. Oh, I'm going to break the entire enemy. Okay. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh no! Don't dominate this guy! Dude! That's the one person you're not allowed to dominate. Oh, fuck. Wait, maybe maybe I can do this, wait. With enough speed boosting ultimates? Yeah, I think I can actually do it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Look at the action order. Oh my god. Dude, I I'm actually cheating right now. <laughs> that was funny. Oh my god, dude. Because of all of my uh, speed boosting uh, light colds and ultimates and relic sets and whatever, I managed to actually um, get Denhang up in the action order so much that we could clear one cycle earlier than fate wanted us to. <laughs> okay, pretty nice. So 23 cycles left. That was pretty nice. Okay. So let's talk about all character setups. Yeah, let's talk about the carries first, I guess. So this is my Acheron. Um, she's E0. But I did go for the light cone. I, I was lucky enough to pull it. I'm very happy about that. As you can see, she also got all right stats. I know there are people out there with, you know, insane stats, but uh, this is my Acheron. I am using speed boots on her. I know there's a lot of people who, who love attack boots, but uh, I kind of like these. They have nice stats. I'm a, I'm a speed person. I like speed. So yeah, she's been supported by um, Pella. Um, she's using the Resolution Shines as Pearls of Sweat Light Cone because this allows her to uh, apply debuffs with her basic attack as well, which of course is important for Ateron. Yeah, what else? The traces, I mean, it's like whatever, right? <laughs> These are the relics. Um, and of course, she's E6. Then we have, where is she? Silverwolf as the second support, also E0. I, I try to build her a bit more, you know, damage capable. I kind of like it that way. Um, yeah, these are the relics. I'm using a mix between the uh, the hacker space and the new uh, pioneer diver of dead waters. Increases your damage to debuffed enemies, and in this team setup, especially, the enemies are always they are always going to be debuffed in some kind of way. The sustain for the first team, Fujuen. Uh, these are her relics. It's also E zero. Uh, this is the light cone. This is especially important for this team setup. I'm using Trend of the Universal Market on her. This light cone makes it so whenever she gets attacked by someone, uh, there's a chance, and a pretty good chance, that you are going to apply a burn debuff on the enemy. And this also counts as a debuff towards Acheron's ultimate. So this is a very nice preservation light cone for your sustain in, a, in an Acheron setup. Okay, second team. Our carry in the second team. Imbibita Lune Dan Hang. Doesn't look too crazy, does it? I know. And he isn't. Um, he's using the free-to-play light cone from the simulated universe. It does well enough, I think. Traces are all maxed, though. This is the relic set he's using right now. It's a mix between Wastelander and Musketeer at the moment. And, of course, E0. His healer was Luocha. This was, like, the one part in the game where I was really lucky because... I just randomly did like three pulls on his light cone and I got it. That was like the one time I got really lucky in this game. <laughs> so yeah, these are the stats. He's using his signature light cone. Very nice light cone. Um, the traces. Here are the relics mixed between um, hacker space for the speed and the passerby of Wandering Cloud for the outgoing healing buff. E0, of course. 
Sparkle. I put a lot of jades into Sparkle because I was like, dude, finally this is going to complete my mono quantum setup. Uh, we got an E2 actually, an E2 Sparkle here. Um, using the past and future light cone though. And this is the relic set, of course, hacker space because of the speed buff from the ultimate works really well, as you could see in this fight right now. <laughs> These are the stats. And then, of course, last but definitely not least, the best waifu in the game, Ting Yuen, has been with me since day one. <laughs> not even kidding. She, she was my first four-star pull in the game. Um, so yeah, these are her stats. 666 six, six attack. You know, she's she's devilish. She's devilish. Uh, this is the light gun we've been using. These are the traces, of course, all maxed. You know, true fanboy needs to max all of those. And these are her relics. Of course, hacker space, definitely the best set on her. The speed boost, sometimes this can, like, be the difference between clearing one cycle earlier or not. It's it's really good. I love this one. Pinaconi, land of dreams. Now, of course... This secondary effect doesn't really help in this team setup right now, but I still think that the energy regeneration rate that you get from this is definitely worth it. Uh, whenever I play her with Jing Yuan, though, the secondary effect of this set also applies. You know, 10% more damage for Jing Yuan because he's also lightning. I'm just sticking to this right now because I don't feel like there's anything else that could perform a lot better. I feel like this, you know, this does well enough for sure. And of course, oh. mm. Mm. beautiful. <laughs> okay, anyway, guys, it was a lot of fun again. I hope you are having a lot of fun with the 2.2 story. I thought it was insane. It was a lot of fun. It was great storytelling. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in two weeks for the next Pure Fiction. Have a good one, guys. Have a wonderful week or a wonderful two weeks, I guess I should say. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.